it. Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. You needed the money, so you killed her. That's not true, goddammit! Man, there's some pawn stars on. Oh, oh the, shit. Dreams are going to get crushed. Oh, you better Fuck hit, yeah. You better hit the record button. <laughs> yeah, uh, history plays this shit like nonstop. So. Oh, man. The fucking pawn stars on loop. Comic book man. People coming in, finding out that comic book is worth $2. Oh, I love it. I, I've actually got a new affinity. Do. I've got a new affinity towards that show. Oh. I didn't really like it at first because some of those guys kind of annoy me. Oh, yeah. Like the... Like the um, the little swarmy guy, not the Asian guy, not the guy with the beard, but the other guy. He's talking about the the lead dude, Walt, Walt Flanagan, the 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 guy who does all the the guy who runs the place. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. He's fucking annoying. He's uh he's fanboy from Mallrats, man. I'll never forget that shit. Yeah, I know. Tell him, Steve Dave. <laughs> I know. It, it's like watching a Kevin Smith film with all those fuckers in it. But I I do like it when they dash people's fucking dreams. Oh, but this is from 1952. Yeah, but it's got like a fucking, it's got like a water ring on it. it looks like somebody wiped their ass with the back of this. I always love it because they're like, oh, yeah, well, one of these sold not too long ago at auction for $1 million. And they're like, yeah, that was like perfect condition. <laughs> oh, I have a question for you, um, Soul Bro, since you're What's a black that? guy. No, no doubt. <laughs> is, is Wendy Williams, is that a, is that a guy? No, Wendy Williams, Williams is actually a woman. She looks yeah, like a you, guy, though. You, you would think that, and that's what I thought too. But she's an actual woman. She's had children, so um, and, 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 and no, no offense to her, but she looks like a drag queen. Yeah. Um, and and, and, and there's some women who are built like. Too. I saw this woman like a couple weeks ago. I was at the dentist, and they had the show on in the waiting room, and I'm just flipping through my channel guide here, and I saw the one new woman show on. I was like, oh, I need to ask to see because when i first saw her i was like she's a fuck this is a guy right like you would think so and you from hearing her voice like she used to have a show, yeah she used to have a show on vh1 years ago and that's how i got introduced to her it was a show because she was a radio dj a radio uh a talk show host uh before she got her talk show on tv and it was on vh1 it ran for like two years and when she got on there when she spoke her mannerisms okay. I could have swore that was the dude that made the transition. Yeah. But yeah, Wendy Williams is all woman, man. Yo. She is stacked. What's up? I was, ask, I was asking Solbro a, a black person question. <laughs> oh, what's this? A couple, what's this? Uh, well, no, a couple, a couple weeks ago when I was at the dentist, I was in the waiting room. And they have a, you know, like flat panel up there showing like the, the morning shows. Mm -hmm. And there's a woman called Wendy Williams. I don't know who, I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, Chris, but she's a woman with huge fucking, they're big fake oh, tits. Yeah. But it sounds, she sounds like a drag queen. Yeah. She, and she, looks she, like a drag queen. Uh, so yeah. I was asking Soul Bro, I'm like, is she really a woman or what the fuck's up with this? And she's, she's 100%. You're, you're wondering if, if Wendy used to be Wendell? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Nah, she uh, she's been married for quite some time, and she's had she's birthed a few children, so I I guess that qualifies. <laughs> well, I, I would I would say, but I it's, I thought the same thing. If, if you, if, if Chris, when you get a chance, look up video of this woman, and you'll see, you'll immediately know what I'm that I'm uh, though I'm thinking about because you're sitting there like this is a chick. Either that or watch the soup. That's that's <laughs> that's the other way you'll get. That's how I see her is when I watch the soup, man. I watch that show strictly for Joe McHale. That's my boy. All right, good stuff, good stuff. I think all of us can ask us. What's up? That I finished the wire. You finished it, huh? I, I'm still, I still got to close up season four, and I got to close up season five. Paul, you finished it too, right? No, I'm, I'm, um, I'm a few episodes in season five. I, just, I finished four. That's right. You had to take a break because, uh, because of how season four ended. Season depressing, man. It was Woo! like watching Victory Gundam. Oh shit. And it also involved children, so oh, it was no. very fitting. <laughs> that that's the reason why I said that. It was yeah. <laughs> it's fucking Oh my god. Damn, that's that is crazy. Yeah, because uh, the because that season's very uh very centric on the on on some of those uh those kids that are going to school. So I figured and, it and, and and it does not end well for for almost any of them. Yeah, they're all fucked. Yeah. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize uh, almost all. Oh, and you're fucking surprised. I'm, the, not, the, I'm not shocked. It is the wire after all, but that's the wire, the the anti hopers and dreamers show. Ooh, man, fuck, that's a sobering take. <laughs> <laughs> 
And, I, sh and I should. F I, I wish I could force all of the Hopers and Dreamers to watch The Wire and then be like, what do you think about life now? Oh, damn. <laughs> well, hopefully they'll be very appreciative they don't live in that situation. <laughs> or, or that they don't live in Baltimore. Ooh. Except the one guy that does. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. So we have a few listeners over in, uh, in Baltimore, but uh, a shout out to them. I guess stay, they stay down. Stay out of the west side and the east side. <laughs> oh, man. Omar coming. Omar coming. Omar coming. Yo, Omar coming. That's that's the, the word of advice for anybody and be more. Omar coming. So how about that? Yeah, I wonder if after a while that's just like looped audio that they use because it always sounds exactly <laughs> the same. Omar coming. <laughs> just like uh, when they had uh, Hamsterdam, like you would always hear in any scene, there's this guy not going like, yo, I got WMD. Got that yeah. WMD, yo. Oh, yeah, I heard that <laughs> shit all the time. I was like, it's like all the fucking time you hear that. It's like you can make a drinking game out of every time someone mentions uh, WMD. <laughs> <laughs> in fucking Amsterdam. What about uh? What about that Cuddy on The Walking Dead, man? Fucking kicking ass, man. God damn, boy, you gonna Take teach young, you gonna teach young Carl how to box, man? Although, I gotta wonder what it is with with The Walking Dead and this uh, weird thing they have that they could never have like more than one. Uh, black, black guy man. on the good guy yeah, side at a time. No doubt. Yeah, what is up with that? It, it is, I, I was noticing that the other day too, because it, it it's a it's a slightly racist uh, a show because <laughs> let's really put this on. Let's put this realistically here. It's in Georgia, so it's yeah. not like there's a, a shortage of black people that would be around after this. And uh, yeah, it's always like and one. It's not black like you ever see that many black zombies to begin with. So. That too. That's the other thing. Yeah. So it's like okay, we can only you know they have enough fucking redneck fucks. They got a yeah. bunch of those fuckers. But then it's like oh, we can't have more than one black guy because you know what happens? You get then you get two and then three and then it's like uh, you know it's a basketball team. And, <laughs> yeah, you know? it's like so they have T Dog there from the beginning, and as soon mm -hmm. as they they introduce uh, Oscar the convict, they kill T Dog, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then literally the same fucking episode they introduce Cuddy as Tyrese yeah. Oscar gets blown away randomly like a little bitch I knew exactly. it was coming too I fucking knew it too it's like no, he's, a black, he's a black guy in a horror film yeah. he's gonna die <laughs> <laughs> I just when they when they made the raid on the place, it's like I know one of these characters has to go. It's like and, and they're not gonna kill off they're not gonna kill off um any um, main people. Any but they brought people. Oscar, so it's like, oh you know uh, you know Oscar's shirt. doomed. He's the red shirt or the black skin. <laughs> I think that that should be the name for an Walking Dead, the black skins. The black like, skins. oh there's a black man. There's a black skin. <laughs> right. Oh man, the brothers out there. But uh, they actually asked Chad Chad Coleman, um uh, you know, knowing the fate of two other black actors or black males on the show, uh, how how does he feel about that? And um, does he feel like his days are numbered on the show too, knowing the character's fate? And he said he's fine with it. He said that the producers of the show promised him that they have something very special in in, in store for his character. So, well, I, I don't know what that th is, but the thing is with him, it's hard to tell because in the comics, his character was there from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yep. and this was the area roughly where he dies during the prison but they never had him from the beginning because they instead had T-Dog who was just sort of a clumsy stand-in so it's totally Bork now the way that they've done it. Yeah, it's it's all over the place. Well, they'll probably have him take uh, ele story elements from other characters that what are not it? in the Isn't... TV show that are in a comic book and probably in introduce that into his art, kind of like what they did with Herschel how and Herschel's the two, there instead of Dale. And the, and the two rednecks, they're not it. They're not. I don't remember those guys. In the no, they're, I don't, not. they're not in the comics. They are. Okay, that's what. Thank you. Then. Okay. Yeah. Fucking I was terrible. wondering. I'm like, because I I had read Walking Dead up until the point they got to the freaking um, prison, mm -hmm. and I was yeah. like, I don't remember a fucking redneck guy with a freaking crossbow. Like, Although like, Daryl has become so popular, that he did get introduced into the comic. Did oh, he? they finally did now. Oh, oh they, they, yeah, because yeah. the comics. Well, they were teasing it a while ago, like showing a dude with a crossbow showing up. That's like yeah. it's pretty obvious. It's Daryl. Get out of here! So they pulled the Harley Quinn with him. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> Because he's, he's the most awesome redneck there is. Yo, they, they, it's already he's a been cool stated. character. They, yeah. they, they already stated if he dies, the the, the, the states will riot. <laughs> Texas will secede. Boy, it's a, they'll do that anyways. <laughs> I guess there's no changing that. I don't think he's. I don't think he. I think he might actually die this season. I know Merle's good as dead, but um, I, I don't know if Daryl. If Daryl if, 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 if goes, so do I. Oh shit! So it's like that, huh? <laughs> 
dude, he's the only badass on that show who never hesitates from doing the shit that needs to be yeah. done when it needs to be done. Because everyone else is just a fucking pussy until Rick starts up the Rick at the end of season two, and they're like, oh, what should we do? Oh, we can't. Oh, stop fucking talking. That <laughs> world is gone. You fucking yeah. do it. You kill any monsters, and you kill any people that you need to to survive if they're fucking with you. Yeah. Rick and, they're Rick going and to fuck. Rick and Daryl made that a crack team, boy. Between the two of them, you can see them work, man. That's the shit, Dude, man. He I, sees that Daryl is the number two man of the rictatorship. <laughs> he, he, he sees the fucking vice president. There, there you go. <laughs> he's no, he's the vice commandante of the rictatorship. That's what exactly. I'm talking about. <laughs> he's Raul Castro. Although, I mean, that's although, what he is. Although uh, Michonne is, but it's, it's, uh, she watched him work, boy. I lo- I, lo- I love the look on her face. When she, when she sees Rick and his team just getting down, and it's like, damn, she's she's impressed. It's like, man, they're they're, they're doing what um I was doing alone basically, and you know they they're taking this shit serious. They're not freaked out, and you know these people I could probably count on. So um it's cool to see that, and uh, I, I can't wait to see how she fits into the show. And Tyrese, now that he's there, man, it's gonna be pretty cool. Be clear, Detective Freeman. When I f you over, you'll know it. You'll be so goddamn certain you won't need to ask the question.